section is one of the best ways to learn about the systems of the body, organs, anatomy, or physiology. And there's all these little scraps of paper. Every little piece that just goes to waste. And most people, when they put out mayonnaise, they take these scraps of paper and just throw them in the garbage. Now, my plan is to get rid of all of this paper, ballot or covering, and to take just this piece, this band-aid, and a bunch of other ones, and connect the bottom pieces of the band-aid to create one long strip of band-aids and put them all on the same roll and just roll it up and put it into a box ready to be sold. So I decided for my goal, I was going to set it at 90 miles per hour and hopefully get to that point. And while I was doing my project, I got inspired by some players. Like, have any of you ever heard of Andy Roddick? I mean, don't say anything if you guys have a cell phone on you. Mm -hmm. Am I right? <laughs> our successes, Jackson, let's talk about first. Um, some of the successes that we had is that since we changed our project halfway through, we had the ability to learn more about our topic. And I'd say we get to relay this information on you guys, so that's probably the biggest success. Yep, definitely. And then some hurdles that led us to our readjustment, we found that there's really no valuable or valid resources out there on the internet that we can really trust. So we wanted to find something for us since we're high school students and we don't have a lot of money. We wanted to find something that was cheap and friendship bracelets are very cheap. We bought about 20 things of yarn and it was only about $10. And we made about 15 bracelets and it we hardly used a fourth of it. So it was a great way to just spend cheap money and in the end, you come out with a really good, pretty bracelet. It's just basically playing video games for a job. And if I could do that, it wouldn't really feel like a job anymore. Uh, at first, I was just going to make a diet plan with exercise recommendations. But as time went on, I kind of flip-flopped that and turned it into a workout routine just with dietary tips. And, and we were able to go to the Salvation Army thrift shop in Burnsville on 42, um, almost right in front of the mall. And when we got there, it was a shock because we found out that they don't really take volunteers in. That place is more uh, for juveniles and people who have to volunteer and do the work. You can make, you can make, you can make, you can make the like, like you can use a synthesizer or, or anything like that. I mean, 
music. Now we have music and technology like we use our phones to say music or iPods. I've extended in the air on one foot. Like this is not just a basic extension. And um, I'm holding, I'm like being held by my bases. And that takes a lot of endurance and practice and also a lot of concentration. And we actually put a lot of time into this and we wanted to make it um, flash drive friendly so we could like go into like other, like current in batch computer systems. Uh, one of our inspirations was Sam Bolt because he's pretty fast and his technique is really, really good. So we watched a lot of videos and a lot of funny stuff on him. And our successes were that we were actually able to lower the price by about $70 and we're getting a much higher quality computer. While I was reading an article in Edmonds, they said the main key for a successful self-driving car is car connectivity to surrounding cars. And we chose this topic because me and Andy both, we really like cars. I mean, it's something that we've always kind of liked and we talk about it a lot. So yeah, we might as well just do it in a project in school. One thing that I love about this project is that Nick and I, we actually did our work for like at least a couple of weeks. Um, he's a vegetarian and I was pretty confused because I didn't know how you would get uh, protein, all you do is uh, eat vegetables, but I mean, this guy is he's pretty jacked, so I was pretty solid with that. Um, and I would say I kind of failed at this project because I had a lot of like, different ideas to do for it, and at first I was going to do like people's opinion on baseball, and, like, if they liked it or not, or like, why they play, and I just kind of decided to stick to like, the basic rules of it, and like, to keep it simple, and and I can't think of anything I'm more passionate about than music. Now, when I was young, I would only listen to um, pretty much just rock and roll. I listened to three genres within the rock and roll family, and that was classic rock, punk rock, and metal. Until one day, my brother introduced me to some new, a new kind of music. Indie rock means independent rock. The one thing that I want everyone to take from my project is this message. Never be afraid to uh, explore a new type of genre because you never know what you're missing out on. Music is really powerful. It has power to bring everyone in the world just together as one. It can make people fall in love and also it can inspire people to do great things. And I truly believe that music is pretty much the most beautiful thing in this world. I uh, play paintball for uh, fun. I love watching the sport, learning about the sport, uh, watch different events. Um, I learned about it a couple, couple years ago, went out with a couple friends and their parents. Usually kids want to find a way to uh, enhance their versions. So we came up with the idea of making a, shoot, a running shoe out of a cleat, so we just want to take a regular running shoe. I mean, cleats, the most, one of the most important pieces of on at uh, football players apparel. Make sure that these things were able to unscrew and screw back in so you can go back, play some tennis, run, uh, play your football, or with these things you can even go golfing in. So <laughs> running shoes that last pretty much for every sport you got going. Uh, one problem we came in with is that when we bolted them in uh, with just the padding, it felt uncomfortable with just the bolts. So then uh, I had an extra pair of uh, Dr. Schultz athletic heel things so that oh. was able to solve our problem. Uh, so it's a lot more comfortable running side issues than just running on the pure bolts. So if we have siblings with autism, how do we treat them? I mean, the answer is uncertain in most people because it depends on each of us. Because if we treat autism people with special care, they are comfortable with that. For my project, I decided to combine my two sport, favorite sports, running and weightlifting, and make a workout program for beginning runners which included weight training. Um, the top picture is the state champion weightlifters of 2013. The right picture is me at my first weightlifting meet of the year, which the staff was there to watch, which was pretty cool. Throughout my whole project, I learned that my two sports can easily be combined and that I don't have to stop uh, weightlifting just because my running season is over. And, um, I 
I'm not saying that my project was perfect or that any coach would want to use it, but I am saying that I was successful in creating my project. Thank you. I think one of the biggest successes for us is just at the end of the day, you know, whatever the letter grade is, we all have fun doing it, and that was the main part of this project was to have fun, and I think we all did that. So the night before our proposal, I talked to my mom, and she's like, well, I know you really like to write, and I'm like, yeah, I do. So she's like, well, why don't you, like, start journaling? And I said, well, yeah, I could, but then I took it one step further, and I decided I wanted to write a book. We started this project trying to figure out what motivates students because just like the rest of you this year, we've kind of slipped into our own senior slide, if you will. We've been stuck in this rut and throughout this project, we struggled figuring out what we wanted to do. And we wanted to know if other students dealt with the same problems that we did. So we wanted, we asked ourselves, what motivates you? So in about mid semester, I switched to photography. Um, I chose photography because it had been something that I have been doing for a while. I mean, I'm not like a professional or anything. It's just like a good hobby that I thought would be good for me. Um, the different skills that can um, take them through are Russian, which is the top right. And then the different other skills that jazz students are determined, which is on the bottom. Uh, the difficult part for me was that I started from the very, very beginning. I had no clue what I was doing, um, but when it like got better and easier, and once I like finally got it right, it was awesome, and it was a great experience, and I would love to do it again. I quickly realized that I didn't have a mentor for my project, which was pretty important, so um, I recalled back to Anna Ray's memorial service, which had thousands of people there, and it, I remember seeing Steve Matula, and I wasn't quite sure who he was or what significance he had, but he is he is a person who um, came up with Minnesota United, which is an organization that tries to help um, women in need who are suffering from domestic abuse. I learned a lot from my 20% Genius Project. It was great to get people involved in something that they know would benefit others. And it was great to approach it from a bowling aspect because to get people involved, you have to do something that they're excited about. And a lot of people like bowling. Some people don't, but um, a lot of people also feel very strongly about domestic abuse. So my mission was to change girls' girls' daily routine by a little bit by having them do five simple hairstyles for a couple of weeks. So I challenged some of my friends to do these hairstyles. They were a little, a little reluctant at first, but they finally gave in after I offered them some Starbucks. So at first I got that three, and it was the smallest one, the bear, and the baby with wearing the uh, panda clothes. It's pretty, it's not that hard because I was watching YouTube video and doing it, so. And I just came up to a higher level, which is the ride the blue. And he taught me some soccer girls, like, they, it, it seems easy because you're just dribbling the ball across the field, but you have to know how hard to kick the ball because if you, if you don't, like if you kick the ball like way too far, then you just get like not not in control of the ball. Um, for my twenty percent project, I first wanted to just talk about the quality of fabrics, the equipment I needed to open a store or a salon or where you could go <coughs> and close them, but. Halfway through, I started thinking, okay, I'm, I don't want to limit myself. The tips that he used to like help you get through school and stuff was really helpful, so I thought that would be a good idea to start. So then, but instead of like, we can't really make this into a TV show, so I thought, website, that'd be so much easier. Now, for what you also look at is the number of product plagues. Now, the system itself cannot hold up to 16 plagues. You have to know the difference between the online and the offline. And I really, like, I really enjoyed this project because it's like, like it said in the beginning, Tree of Opportunity, the reason I named the presentation this way is because it started off with one idea and just led into other stuff, you know? Like it started from wanting to play a song and it went to learning other ways to play the song. I watch YouTube videos too to find different ways to play it. And it went to 
um, music lessons that I will be teaching, like learning more stuff that I didn't really need to.